I'm very excited now. What you look at now? What are you saying? The future! Before starting, let guess which star said M1. Mm. Well, the music will give it a very way. So we are not on planes. We are on this dog days style set. It's an event which was active last year around this time uh, between the summer, I believe. So I'm not sure if it will come back, given that the B doesn't have the time at this point. So before starting on this video, I'm gonna give quick info about Ember. Ember got a rework recently, her fork changed, which was before World of Fire and if you watch my previous video which I showed, I will link it in the description. You can see that Ember, Ember's fork had a difference compared to his normal Ember. So in which you would, you would get golden debris in your World of Fire and now there is no change. All Ember and Ember Prime abilities are basically the same. There is nothing different. They are same. So yeah, that's the info I wanted to give. Uh, maybe they should be should check it on it and change something. Because there is no visual change for Ember. At, I mean Ember Prime at this point. So I hope it's something interesting to know about at this point. So let's move on to the next frames, which do have some changes. Let's see. Alright, time for Atlas. Atlas has two changes for his wall and for his golems. Uh, they are basically the same difference, but as you can see for the normal Atlas, it is um, a basic rock texture for his walls. And for his golem as well, they are the same texture, rocky looking. Here they are playing with the ball, balls. If you don't have the dog days tile set, you should get it when the event drops, if it hopefully does. Anyways, this is Atlas Prime. As you can see the texture here, we got the gold details and orange looking thing, making it feel like a molten lava rocks, something like that. I had the augments that which that that makes the wall go like a boulder. And this is golems, same texture. I had the green energy so you can see the green green lines instead of the orange ones the wall had. I don't know why the wall has orange ones but yeah. This is the difference between Atlas and Atlas Prime. Let's move on. Now Iwara, in terms of design, Iwara has some arrows in her arm that will be changed in the Prime variant and for the Prowl as you can see. In water, you can barely notice if she's there. But that's the prowl, uh, very basic. Of course, that's depend upon the energy color. I had the white one, I believe. So there's that. Now let's move on to the Iwara Prime. Okay, now Iwara Prime. Uh, before starting, let's quickly check her arm. She only has one golden arrow compared to her base design, which has five arrows. Well, that's just a design concept. And now let's check her prowl. Before doing that, let's see how her prowl was post launch. It was pretty, uh, it was more star like, more galaxy like texture compared to how it is now, as you could see. It's just jelly type. Uh, you can barely notice the difference. They're not moving. Compared to how it was before, it's very downgraded right now. To make it somewhat looking similar, how it was. In display you have to uh, close the distortion now you got something like this which is fairly close to how it was before but not quite it still looks downgraded how to how it was before I'm not sure what caused this changed but this is definitely a massive change hope this was interesting to know it was really surprising to find out when I was making this video, so... Alright, finally, Titania. Uh, before moving further, let's see how she walks. This is how normal Titania walks. And her razor wing changes. Can't really notice the VFX here. 
uh, they are pretty normal, pretty low. This is for normal Titania, which will be changed in Prime 1. This is the Razorback. Of course, I'm using a skin here. Uh, as you can see, this is not how normal Titania looks. This is a skin. Now, let's move on to the Prime variant. This is the change for a Razor Wing. You, you will notice there is uh, some more VFX going here. VFX changes. More details, more particles, something, whatever you call it. And notice there are wings here. She has wings. This is for the Prime variant. The weapons can be seen. Uh, it, weapons can be seen uh, holding in her, in her wings or something. I don't know. As you can see, there is her blade is there. I will switch to one the blade and the the pistol will go to the another another wing. Whatever that is. I'm sorry. I'm fucking this up. So yeah. But you can notice that. This is the changes for Titania. And for the moment, Titana Prime's moves like hovering around like like she's flying like a fairy. That's how Titana Prime's Titana Prime moves. Uh, I think normal Titania should get this same motion because there is no reason why she should not. Maybe in future, but at the time I was making this video that normal Titania just walks normally and Titana Prime Titania Prime, sorry, if whatever you want to call it. Titania Prime moves like hovering around, like she's flying. So that's the changes. That's that's all the videos about. I already covered you know, other frames in previous videos. Please check them out if you haven't. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hit the like if you did. Th subscribe if you haven't. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.